can actually start now here at the observatory where, Crystal, we walked into this place just blown away by all the history behind it and just so much to really talk about. Well, you know, the observatory actually started 80 years ago by the University of Texas. Fun fact, the University of Chicago ran it for 30 years, and the reason why is because UT Austin did not have an astronomy center or uh, classes, basically a department to do that. They run it now. Uh, another cool thing, it's home to one of the largest telescopes in the world. What they really do is they kind of push the boundaries of, you know, those telescopes show us how, where we stand in the universe, how big we are, and one of the cool things that they're studying is dark matter. Dan Gribbs, Grigsby actually got a chance to tour the observatory. He has more on that. High in the Davis Mountains sits one of the most unique features in not just West Texas, but in the entire world. That is the McDonald Observatory, located just north of Fort Davis at an altitude of almost 6,800 feet. It's here where numerous telescopes, including one of the largest in the world, are pointed up at the night sky to conduct groundbreaking research, helping us better understand our universe. The Hobby Eberly, shown here, is the third largest reflecting telescope in the world. Almost everything you can imagine being in the night sky is observed right here in West Texas. This telescope was built to do everything. Um, we can observe uh, anything that an astronomer wants to look at in the sort of optical and infrared wavelengths. So we observe uh, exoplanets orbiting other stars, we observe supernovas when stars explode, we observe whole galaxies, um, comets, asteroids, uh, star forming nebulas. You know, if you have a science project, chances are this telescope can help answer your questions. Not only is this one of the largest telescopes, but it's also one of the most unique in the sense of how it was designed and how it's operated. I think the, the most interesting design aspect of this telescope is that our mirror doesn't move while we're observing. So we can spin, we can rotate to any uh, azimuth, north, south, east, west, but we always observe 55 degrees above the horizon and we track objects as they move across our field of view. So there's only one other telescope in the world like this and it was built as a copy of this one. So this is a, like a really revolutionary telescope design. And despite it being of revolutionary design, the telescope was mostly built out of everyday materials. When they designed it, they tried to have as few different parts as possible. So interchangeable parts and then like off the shelf components, like the beams that you see behind me, these big steel eye beams, these were built by a, by a bridge fabrication company. So they took a break from building highway overpasses and they built us a telescope structure. And perhaps one of the most special features of the Hobby Everly Telescope is the community that's been built around it. Dozens of people live up here at the McDonald Observatory, working a variety of jobs to ensure the telescope is functional. It's sort of a special place where you've got, like, to make this kind of telescope work, it does not take very many astronomers like me. <laughs> what we need are the engineers and technicians and administrators and everybody else who keeps this facility running. So they have like four of us, four astronomers and a staff of like 70. <laughs> With everyone working towards a common goal, a family bond is created out here, making this place truly special. When there's a fire nearby, you know, everybody joins up to help. If there's a, an emergency or a situation, we're all sort of one family out here. Um, and. When problems happen with the telescope, we need help from everybody. So whether it's for observing stars and galaxies, trying to solve mankind's greatest mysteries, or innovating a revolutionary telescope design, this place is truly unique. But it's the people that live and work here and the community that they've created high in the Davis Mountains that makes this spot special.